Welcome back. We are looking at the S&P 500 and this is going to be my weekly forecast for the S&P 500. So we have to go back to February because February we saw these all times high in the market of uh, 3,400, this area here. Since then, we uh, the mass, we saw the market uh, go into a, a massive decline, into a, a bearish market here due to the coronavirus. Um, economies uh, around the world shut down and uh, we saw the biggest decline in history uh, around 35 percent in under yeah under three weeks uh, in the mid of um, of March we bottomed at around 2200 and uh, ever since we have been on this bullish run um, and we have gained uh, a lot of the losses that we saw in this area here um, so when we had this decline we were oversold and the last few months we have seen this increase and last week the momentum technically stopped uh, at this point we are significantly overbought um, this has been quite strange it has nothing to do with the fundamentals of the world economy. This has all to do with liquidity. It's technically the Federal Reserve and Reserves Bank all over the world that is be are basically pumping monies, money into the system and, um, and that is making this increase. But there is another factor and that is the, the retail uh, trader. Um, so we have seen quite a low vol uh, volume for quite a long time until last week and I'll go back to that so the market has been mainly been trading on on uh, retail uh, investors and and there have been a few stocks especially the uh, cruise liner stocks, the airline stocks, and uh, other yeah, hotel stocks and service sector stocks that have been increasing substantially over this uh, this period, which makes no sense whatsoever. The world economy has not changed. There's nothing changed in where with, uh, with the with the with the with the coronavirus and so on, and um, airlines are still. Uh, uh, working on 20% capacity, cruise liners are not sailing at all. They have no revenue whatsoever. The same goes for restaurants and so on. They, their capacity is way, way, way down compared to their capacity back in 2019. So why to see this increase? It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, other than that, the Federal Reserve is basically pumping money into the to this uh, to the system, and we have millions of uh, retail investors technically gambling on this market. Uh, it has to something to do with her the psychology. When you see markets going up by uh, 10, 20 percent uh, a day, you want to come be part of the action and you start buying, buying, buying. However, that stopped here. So we're going to look at the volume in a, in a moment, but smart money entered the market around 3,200 and started selling. And a lot of retail investors lost quite a substantial amount of money uh, because they were betting that the market would continue to all-time highs when, matter of a fact, is that the economy is not that well at the moment and it will not uh, in the short run uh, go to all-time highs maybe in the long run we will we will see but what happened is that that on Thursday we saw this a massive decline around six seven percent in all of the main indexes Dow Jones uh, the Nasdaq and also the S&P 500 and we got to uh, the 3000 level and I will show you in a moment why we got to the 3000 level why this acted as a, as a support 
And on Friday, we again saw this massive increase. Uh, why? Well, I think people are more uh, gambling at the moment than they are investing. This has nothing to do with investing. This is technically just day trading, scalping, and so on. People are making a lot of money day trading and scalping, um, not investing uh, for the long run. But if we look at the Fibonacci levels, we can take this bottom here and drag it all to the top. We can see that our 23.6 uh, Fibonacci retracement level, we hit that retracement level and then bounced. So that's probably the reason. Um, However, I do expect us to go lower from here. Um, the fundamentals of the economy are still horrible. And uh, of course, the Fed will try to, uh, to uh, add liquidity to the market. We even heard uh, Chairman Powell saying that, that uh, the Federal Reserve will be continue with its monetary policy. Uh, and they're not even thinking about thinking about changing their monetary policy so the interest rates will be at near zero for uh, a long long time and they will continue buying bonds and uh, um, technically buying anything in the market and as that as long as that is the case we will not retest these lows if we do then then we technically have a serious problem because that means that the Federal Reserve doesn't really have the tools or the power to stop the fall of the market. And that is quite a uh, frightening scenario. But we may test these Fibonacci retracement levels. So we may see uh, markets, we have seen it going up, and we probably see it uh, test these uh, 38%. Uh, 50% and maybe the 61%. This probably would make sense that we would go uh, back down to the 2,600 levels, test that, and then go back up. Um, that will take um, a few weeks, uh, probably months, uh, but I'm kind of sure that is going to be the case with this market because at this moment we are overbought and we will see uh, sellers come in and try to to uh, drag the market back down so if we go and uh, look at the technical indicators we can see that the rsi we started rsi we are right in the middle we're not uh, and we are quite in the uh, high end and we are seeing that uh, RSI is about to go up. We can see that we were, before the, this massive decline here, substantially overbought. We were well over, uh, where are we here? Uh, 18, 18, 82 uh, up to 90. And that is that is it's in the area where it basically signals that we are substantially overbought in the market. Now we're around um, 50, uh, 57 and uh, we are pointing upwards. So that is due to this increase on, in on Friday's session. And we will most likely see on a Monday a continuation. But I do believe that we have to go uh, further down. This is not sustainable. This growth fear is not sustainable. And the longer this uh, continues, the bigger and more dra dramatic the fall will be. So we can see that uh, MACD is indicating that we have crossed this signal line and we're going uh, back down, uh, making sense that we will uh, will continue downwards. We get back to the Fibonacci retracement here. We tested the first 23%. Then we have the 38% uh, and this will most likely be our next target. Of course, we have the 
50 moving average here, which will act as a support. Uh, but if that breaks, then we will go and test this level and we'll probably also go and test the other levels. We can see that, for example, if you look at the stochastic, uh, we are, uh, it was signaling a overbought situation and we had this massive decline here. Um, we will probably continue for two, three more trading session going down uh, if we look at the stochastic. And finally, the uh, Bollinger Band, of course, we have been touching this uh, upper uh, Bollinger Band for, for level of Bollinger Band for quite a long time now. Probably, uh, and, and this was an indication of exhaustion. We also can see that the that we have a lot more volatility in the market compared to this area here where there is significantly less volatility compared to the other areas here. So this basically indicates that we have woken up the big giants or the big money or the smart money in the, in the market and they are reacting to these overbought conditions here and they are starting selling. And what I mean with you know, with the with the smart money is that the big institutions that technically move these markets, if they want to, they have seen that this market has been overbought, and they on Thursday starting selling, and they technically wiped out a lot of retail investors on Thursday. We can see the massive uh, vol uh, volume in the market in this area here, indicating that that uh, the smart money has entered the market and has started selling. So um, for next week, I do expect us to um, to go lower. Uh, we technically have to go lower. I don't believe there's no uh, reason for us to go and test these highs in the short run. That is... Um, even if we went back to normal, that will still not be the case. Nothing has really changed in the world economy. The fundamentals are still horrible. Uh, the only reason why we have had this bullish run here is due to the, the Fed's uh, monetary policy and probably to uh, increase in in uh, the retail investor side. But this area here will act as resistance. Even though we went back here, I still think that we would hit this area here and we would go back down. We may do that. We may see a double uh, top here and then go back down. But I do believe in, in, the, in, the, in the next few weeks, we will see a test of these uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement levels before we uh, go back up. So if you like this video, welcome to, uh, to uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, good trading and thank you very much.